Good morning, everybody, on this Friday, April 19th. Yeah, April 19th. I am going into the office today because John's home with Nicholas. Actually, they are, they just drove down the road behind me. I just saw them pass down the road. They're going to Starbucks. I'm not going to Starbucks for breakfast. Uh, they are going to Starbucks. I have a pro uh, protein bar and a Powerade Zero. That's going to be my breakfast. Um, but they are, they're heading to Starbucks. John wants coffee and Nick gets apple juice. That's their, that's their Starbucks. And Lisa, it's okay that you've never been to Starbucks. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. I don't drink coffee. I think I've told you guys before. I don't drink coffee. Typically I don't drink tea. That tea that I've been drinking, it's an herbal tea. Um, but typically I don't drink tea either. Like just plain old tea. I don't, I don't drink tea. Um, because they, it always has like a tea aftertaste and I really don't like the flavor of tea. So I don't normally drink tea either. Um, anyway, I'm heading into the office. My hair is quite frizzy this morning, um, but I'm going to the office today because I want to uh, be done for this pay period with my obligations of going to the office. And since Nick um, since Nick isn't going to school today, there's, I don't need to put him on the bus or anything like that. So, um, it works out fine today that I'm going in and I'm just going in for the morning. I have to swap out my computer and get another one. Um, so I'm going to do that. I probably will be there before that time, but I might just go over early and, and swap out the computer, um, and then go over to my desk. Uh, what else? what else I'm a little bit hungry so I'm probably gonna eat my protein bar in the car which I normally do in the morning um, I, I, I normally eat my protein bar in, in the car I'm waiting for this car to go before I turn okay there we go um, the rest of the day I don't know what's on task for the rest of the day uh, I, I work all day I have to put in eight hours Neil works eight to four so he's already at work uh, it's about 20 after 8 right now. So Neil's already at work. Um, he works till 4. I should be home around lunchtime. And I don't know what we're going to do tonight. It, a lot of that, I think, depends on if it rains or not. They're saying, at least as of this morning, they were saying it's a 90% chance of rain today. Um, but it's sunny out. Like, you guys can see, it's sunny. So if it doesn't end up raining, then might like go out and do something even if it's just like go to the park or go for a walk or something um if it is raining we'll obviously be at home I have no uh I don't have any videos to edit right now um I shouldn't say that I do have videos that I can edit but they're not like they need to go up now um I'm gonna try and I know I've been saying this for like two weeks now I'm gonna try to film my weight loss story um, maybe I'll post that on Sunday. I don't, I don't know when I'll post that. Maybe Sunday, maybe, when, uh, I don't know. Let's be honest. I don't know. So anyway, I am going to get into the office and I will see you guys later. Yep. John's ordering right now because he went a different way to Starbucks. He's actually right over there right now ordering. He's the re first red car, uh, but they're ordering Starbucks right now. I should have honked at him. Um, anyway, I'm going to get to the office and I will see you guys later today. Bye. Well, it's like 20 after nine in the evening. Um, today was the viewing for that guy that passed away over the weekend. And I had totally forgotten about it this morning and luckily I had put it into my calendar on my phone because I would have forgotten about it if I hadn't done that and my alarm went off at two o'clock and I was like oh crap that's coming up so anyway long story short we got there it was supposed to be from four to seven we got there at about five till six and I said to the boys I was like okay you guys just hang out in the car I'm gonna run in pay my respects and I will be out 7.30, I came out. 
There was a lot of people there to pay their respects. A very lucky person. Anyway. And there was not a service. That was waiting in line for an hour and a half to get to see him and, you know, give my condolences to his family. So. That's my night. <laughs> That's my entire night. Uh, we stopped and grabbed some dinner on the way back. And it's 20 after 9. So. And it, th where the the visitation was, or vis whatever, what is it called? Is it a visitation? What is it called? Uh, viewing. viewing. Where the viewing was. It took us about 25 minutes to get there too, right? Yes. So it took us about an hour round trip to get there and back. And then an hour and a half there. That was two and a half hours. And then about an hour for us to eat dinner. That's my entire evening. So. I saw a lot of familiar faces and most people didn't recognize me. Cause she lost weight. I actually said hi to people. I was like, hi, how are you? And they just looked at me and they're like, good. And went back to like what they were doing. Um, I had a couple people be like, oh my gosh, I didn't recognize you. I had at least three people literally look at me. I said, hi. And they were like, hi. And then went, they like just, they totally didn't recognize me at all. I personally think I look exactly the same. I mean, I look, I do. I mean, I look exactly the same. Now, granted, if you look back in my vlogs while I was still working in that department, I always had my hair in a ponytail. I never wore makeup and I was 75 pounds heavier. So I think I look the same. Anyway, I'm getting a headache. I don't know why I'm getting a headache. I'm just getting a headache. I'm tired. So. That's a wrap on my day. I know it's a short one, but literally I, I worked and did this tonight. So I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. Stay out of the rain. Stay out of the rain. We're going to do something tomorrow. I just don't know what. I'm thinking about doing a foundation review. I'm thinking about filming my weight loss story so I can post it. Finally. And there's something else. I'm thinking about going to Starbucks. And I think John's thinking about going to get some wine. Are you out of wine? Yeah, I think John's thinking about going to get some wine. So, you don't want to go get wine? Oh, what? Yes, yeah, so always, but... So he does want to go get wine. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what tomorrow holds. It's supposed to rain. It's raining like cats and dogs. Actually, we should probably go downstairs and make sure it's not flooded. It's not... We do get water in our basement. But we should probably go downstairs. I prob I'm probably going to have to do that because John's about to get in the shower. Go downstairs and see if there's water getting in. There's one part of our, our uh, front of our house. There's downspouts and, and um, gutters on the front of the house. And personally, I think there's not enough like lengthwise, like length of gutter or whatever. So it kind of all settles in one spot and come when it comes down heavy it comes down heavy um and that's the portion of the basement that typically gets gets water in it it's never a lot and we have had a couple of times like we had one time where one of the windows leaked i forget what happened there did did the caulking come undone or something where the one window that was leaking no um i had tried to we had, uh, there was uh, a clog in this corner. In the downspout. In the downspout. And I took the corner off, and I thought I had, I, I just left the corner out, and I just used the, I hooked the plastic put extender up to it. Yeah. But I didn't actually drill it tight. Oh. Thing. So the downspout was making that leak. And the downspout just started pouring water straight beside the foundation. Ah. Uh, and then that's how it got it. Gotcha. So, 
So we live in an area that has a lot of natural springs. A lot of Pennsylvania has natural springs. There's a town a little bit away from us, not far, but a little bit away from us that constantly is having sinkholes. Um, <clears throat> we've had sinkholes in our neighborhood, um, in the water retention areas. There's been a couple of sinkholes that have opened up because there's a lot of porous rock in this area and we have a lot of natural spring water in this area. Um, I mean, there's one, like I said, the one town that's like, like two or three towns over, their main road has opened up a couple of times with uh, sinkholes. But we just have a lot of, uh, is it limestone? Yeah. We have a lot of limestone in our area and then the natural springs that are in this area as well, um, you know, cause it, cause it to be, cause there to be spring, uh, uh, sinkholes. We actually have sinkhole insurance on the house, yeah. which is interesting, which is kind of weird because it only covers if the house is damaged. So if there's a sinkhole in the backyard, it won't cover that. It only covers if the house gets damaged by the sinkhole. So, but we do have sinkhole insurance. It's not required, um, but when we moved in and we found out that there are sinkholes in the water retention ponds, we were like, well, that might be something we want to consider. And our yard gets soupy. Like by the end of next week, since it's supposed to rain like every single day almost, by the end of next week, our yard is going to be like one major puddle. Swamp. Yeah, it's going to be a swamp, so. Anyway, I'm going to do my nighttime routine. I'm going to go see if the basement's uh, leaking water. And I'm probably going to go back to watching my retirement video that I was watching. We'll figure out tomorrow, tomorrow. So, I'm going to take my makeup off. I have makeup on. It's not like super crazy makeup. It's just pretty subtle makeup. It's it, The foundation's more of a natural foundation as well. I keep furrowing my brow. Anyway. Today, I am thankful that we got to spend some time with Neil. Even though I was in the building for an hour and a half and the boys were in the car for an hour and a half. Uh, Neil hung out with us. He had dinner with us. So. That doesn't happen very often. And he just left. He went out with his friends. So. Anyway. I hope today was better than yesterday. And I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope y'all are having a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.